Okay, I'll start. Gang hai fa choi. Happy New Year of the Rabbit. Happy Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. Um, thank you for joining me. This is my um, my predictions for the upcoming Chinese Year of, Chinese Year of the Rabbit, 2023. And um, I want to do some predictions for you for what you're going to experience over the next 12 months, maybe a bit more. I don't know when the new Chinese Year begins after this. It will be Dragon Year. Wow, Dragon Year next. Oh, hold on a second. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go, Papa, go, go, go. Good girl. Bit of an interruption there. All right, Papa, sit down. So yes, I'm going to pull some cards. I've got my, my selection of cards here ready, and we are going to do some readings for you. Now, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the rabbit year. Uh, it's going to be an interesting time with what we've been experiencing recently. And the tiger year, wow. I mean, a lot of people struggled in this tiger year. And not necessarily because of the um, repercussions of the pandemic either. Hey, Baba, don't do that. Um, not necessarily because of the repercussions of the pandemic either, but because there's just uh, the energy of this tiger year was such that it was quite oppressive, and a lot of a lot of signs felt like they um, um, they couldn't be themselves and they couldn't um, stand in their power in quite the way that they they used to. You need to stop doing that, Sweetie. Stop doing that. So um, the rabbit year is going to change that. It is going to allow people to not feel so oppressed and suppressed. Um, so there is a certain level of freedom that wasn't there in the tiger year. The other thing that's um, going to be quite noticeable for most signs is the fact that it's a far more creative year. Uh, not that tigers aren't creative, they're very creative. But the, the influence that the rabbit year has on people is that it makes them more creative and... Um, there's something about the rabbit sign that is kind of the political artist. So they use their art to challenge. They use lots of indirect ways to challenge authority. And I think uh, one of the things that they do is they're very good at civil disobedience. Um, for example, uh, I talked about this in my, um, um, the article I wrote for the, um, for the uh, 2023 Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. That's on my website. I talked about how the, in the last rabbit year, 2011, in the UK, we, we had the London riots, which um, were started because the police shot a, uh, a black man, Mark Duggan, I believe his name was. And um, in protest, these riots took place where, they were, where there was like mass looting of like stores. Started off in like North London, in a place called Tottenham. And then it just sort of spread across the country. And that these, these riots where people were just break, smashing windows and taking things and that not that that is civil disobedience because it's it's not very civil it's quite it's uncivil disobedience but it gives you an example of the kind of chaotic laissez-faire energy that comes in rabbit years um there's also a lot of um a lot of natural disasters especially autumn time but the positive that those I suppose those are I don't know whether they're positive or negative is the uh, civil disobedience thing depends on where you where you land in terms of your beliefs. But there are lots of positives, however, which I'm going to focus on. Um, primarily being that you are allowed to be yourself. Being yourself is rewarded. Um, standing in your power, using your art to say what, how you feel, and um, just generally, it's a romantic year. It's also one of the two years of beauty, the dog year and the, and the, the Arabic year. Those are the two signs that are connected to beauty. So it's one of those years where you want to make your surroundings beautiful. You want to like look after yourself, look after your health, make yourself more beautiful. Um, and um, just, just do those things that really make your heart come alive. Now, I've got six packs of tarot cards here. So this is the this is the Starseed star seed Tarot. Uh, this is the Witch's Tarot. I've used this quite a lot of times. You will, if you, those of you who've seen my videos before will know that I've used this pack before. Got the traditional Rider Waite deck. The Robin Wood pack. This lovely green energy, green cards. Um, we have the Archangel pack. One of the Dorian Virtue packs. Um, she does make beautiful cards. She really does with the angels. And um, this is the, the pack which I use the most, which is the Druid pack. Um, okay. Now we are going to look at the snake sign for 2023. Okay. 
Now, the way it works is I'm going to do a uh, general reading first, then I will do a health reading, a wealth reading, and then a uh, ro romance reading. And then I will pull 12 cards, one for each of the months of 2023. Okay. For the snakes, I've chosen the Rider Waite pack today. Okay, so um, the overall outcome card that's for uh, that's the most important position here um, is the um, the fool card, which is the adventurer, the risk taker, um, which is really positive because this would suggest that this that twenty twenty three is going to be a massive adventure for you, uh, and you could you can do with that after the last few years where. It's just, you know, after the whole pandemic business that happened, um, it's just a time for you to have a, a bit more of an adventure and have that sense of freedom that you have been lacking recently. I think last year wasn't too bad. I think you, you a lot of snake people got to travel quite a lot last year, but it feels a bit like it's it's, it's too samey. You need a change. You want something different. And I think this year is going to offer you that. So in the recent past, you've just been carried away with all the busyness job comes in you do it you're just juggling a whole variety of things you just pushed it, things that need re resolution to the background so you just because you're so busy you're just dealing with stuff <coughs> excuse me like the treadmill of life you're just on that treadmill of life and and you want to change influence is working in your favor there's going to be much to celebrate this year lots of celebrations lots of time with friends with loved ones because it could be that last year you didn't get to spend as much time with those people that you that really bring you joy in your life and i think you're going to do a lot more of that this year influences working against you we got the card of overthinking worrying about things that don't need to be worried about um worrying about things that never really transpire so it's just a a little note there to say that just stay focused on the things that you want Use esoteric principles such as the law of attraction and um, just stay stay positive about things. That's not to say that you avoid things that need your attention. You you confront them, but you use the law of attraction to stay focused on uh, on the positive, shifting your energy so that you can mould your reality. You know how Dr. Wayne Dyer says, well, sadly he's passed away, obviously, uh, believing is seeing. So if you can shift your perspective to the point that you can you convince yourself to believe the thing that you want is going to happen, then it happens. Um, so I think that's um, that's a little note there. What's interesting is a card afterwards, now short term future, is the um, Eight of Swords reversed. So upright, you're restricted. Reversed, you're free from that restriction. So this is very, very positive. Um, it means that the, um, the the things that restrict your arms come off, the blindfold comes off, and you see clearly, you have this experience of euphoria because you're not trapped anymore. Um, and for you, snakes, it could feel like you've been trapped for like a decade and you're like, finally free. It's like, hooray, now my life is my own. I can do what I want. And then you start planning some sort of business thing or creative thing, but whatever it is, it's going to take a period of, well, three significance, so three weeks, three months, three, well, it's probably more likely to be months here. Um, three months, possibly you could start something that could take three years for it to mature, but something starts where three is significant in the middle part of this year. So we're talking June, July, August time, around that sort of time. Um, so that's going to be really positive. It could be a new business. Snakes are quite good at starting businesses, so that could be positive. And overall, look, you see everything as an adventure, and um, you're really, you're up for it as well. So good. It's really positive. Okay, let's move on to health. So now this um, 
So influence is, no, um, the overall outcome card for this spread about health is the King of Wands, who is a, a prominent advisor, gives really good advice. Um, he's an authority on on sub on uh, specific subjects such as like health or like it's like a, a doctor type of person, but n not like a traditional doctor. Somebody that has an overarching view of like allopathic medicine, all different types, right? So it could be that I mean, snakes are quite into the alternative as it is. So it could be somebody that it could be you. It could be you yourself, or it could be somebody you know that uh, gives um, advice on a wide ranging. T uh, 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 topics within the same topic within health um and somebody you trust so it could be that person could play a prominent role so so last year what could have happened was um if there was some sort of illness or some situation there you you were offered something and you were not sure that you wanted to take it um and it could be a blessing in disguise that you you didn't take it because right now what we see is you regaining your strength regaining your power understanding the world of matter and understanding the, the world of spirit and having those con 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 what am I trying to say having those two coming together and um, um, understanding both of those worlds and how they combine together is really really um, helpful for you in order to really provide a fuller healing for yourself one thing that it is saying is calm down on the drinking if you do drink, calm down on the partying or whatever it is that you're doing to excess, calm down on that. Short term future. Now, this is really interesting because we're asking about health. This could this could scare people, right? Because look at it. It's, it's one it's one of the two cards of death. Um, but I don't think it means death. You know, what I think it means acupuncture. So if you are having some issues, consider acupuncture. The thing about snake signs is that these messages can come quite directly because snake signs, a lot of the snake signs that are probably watching this are probably quite into the alternative health arena anyway. So they'll know about homeopathic, they'll know about acupuncture, they'll know about all these different healing modalities. So when they see that, they're not going to be freaked out by it. Um, but those people that don't know and don't understand tarot cards and, and, and this sort of esoteric world so much, they're going to be like, oh my God, look at that card. No, it doesn't mean that. Um, uh, or it doesn't necessarily mean that. In certain contexts, it can mean that, right? But because of this, I'm I'm feeling um, uh, acupuncture, especially when the next card is the strength card, where you get in touch with your wild wisdom and you heal yourself. This is very very positive. This coming with this, coming with this in the most prominent position, it's all really really positive. So I think that you're going to figure out the way to speak to the right person that's able to give you the advice you need in order to come to a place of health. Especially now with like, there's so many different things out there right now. Like there's people out there who are selling Tesla machines. You know, the Tesla healing machines. Um, you can buy them for about two, 2,000, 3,000 pounds. And they're, they're amazing. Um, that's just one of the things. There's the Bob Beck protocol. There's um, Holder Clark's book. Um, a cure for all diseases there are so many alternative things out there I'm sure you guys know about this already but um, it, there's so many things worth exploring so many things worth exploring um, other than allopathic medicine which you know allopathic medicine also has its place um, it's helped me a lot over the years when I've when I've fallen sick but I do prefer looking at the alternative sphere for, for ideas as well and snake signs I know they often like to look at alternatives as well all right, let's move on to um, wealth and career and finance. Wow. Wow. Guys, there are six cards there and five of them are major arcana. I mean, that's that's amazing. This could be a phenomenal, phenomenal year for you in terms of your finances and, and wealth creation. Um, the um, starting point, the influences that's, that's from the last year that's hit, leading you here now is the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favour. The Wheel of Fortune lasts between 10 to 12 months because it's, it's a 10 card, but actually the wheel takes 12 um, uh, months to complete itself, right? There's 12 segments. So this would suggest to me 
that this entire year, if you spend your if you spend your uh, energy correctly, or not correctly, but in a way that draws this to you, you can make a, a massive return financially this year. The overall outcome card here for you is the the single woman who is able to live on her t her own terms because she's got more than enough financial backing and resources to live in that way that suits her. Um, now, I'm not saying you have to be single, but it is interesting that this, because there's other cards where there's families, there's, there's, um, there's, there's other um, ways of doing it. But the fact that it's a single woman would suggest to me that you're going to do a lot of this by yourself. I know in one of the, in the, the previous, um, um, no, that was, a, was that for you or was that for somebody else? Oh, I can't remember now. I've done a lot of these readings, so um, I'm getting a bit confused. No, but anyway, anyway, look, coming back to your reading, the, uh, this is really, really positive. What it does suggest is that you're going to be working by yourself quite a lot um, because it's, it's a single woman. She's in charge. She needs to do it her way. Also, would suggest that, I mean, it doesn't have to be a woman, of course, can be male, but it does suggest the yin aspect as opposed to the yang. Uh, lead in a yin way, not in a yang way. Uh, so lead with compassion and consideration and, and don't be too dogmatic about things. Influences working in your favour. We've got the death card, transformation, all that that no longer serves you falls away and you are left with the new. This space that is there that's left when the old goes away is filled by all the new things and um, it suits your temperament and it suits who you are now. Influences working against you. You might not be able to be as creative as you want because uh, some of the some of the roads you have to go down might be a bit more professional and might be a bit more formal than you would like. So it curves some of your, some of that creativity, not all of it, of course, but some of it. You can't be as free as you want, and you might have to conform a little bit in order to achieve what you want. The Phoenix rises from the ashes. This is a judgment card. Um, you open yourself you, uh, to a brand new life. You literally come out and it's like something new now. Phoenix rises from the ashes. You get better and better and better at it. Strength card again. Getting in touch with your wild wisdom, your intuition, your inner power. Uh, and you, you just shine. And the overall outcome card is this. Financial success. Being able to live on your own terms. It's very, very positive, guys. Really positive. Very happy to give you this news. Let's move on to romance. in the rabbit year for the snake sign okay it looks like your focus might be career more than more than romance because the starting point we've got is the devil <coughs> which is generally speaking it's more sexually sexually oriented and not rom not um, romance oriented it's more sex based and not long-term relationship based you know, um, uh, this is the influence of the last year bringing us to where we are now. So um, although you are making wiser decisions, especially when it comes to your finances, um, you might spend so much time working on the financial thing. Uh, although the opportunities are there for you to explore your romantic side, it seems like your time is going to be taken up by work, work, work things to such a degree that you can't give yourself as much um, uh, time to explore your romantic side unfortunately, especially especially the beginning part, anyway, of the year. Um, influences working against you. The world is your oyster. There is so much opportunity for you this year um, that I just think you're going to be exploring that a lot of the time. Short-term future, we've got you in the advantage point. So there is there are people that are interested in you and you're interested in them. And so if you're, if you're free and you give yourself the time to explore that, good things can happen. And then also, the second part of the year... We've got the synchronicity and speed card. So um, I think you're at this point, the second part of the year is going to be easier for you to just make the time to spend with people because it will just happen. And it could be happening in a work context as well. So whilst you're working, you can also be romancing at the same time. So that's positive. One thing I will say for snake people, and this, I don't mean to give you a negative self fulfilling prophecy because you may perceive it as negative or you may perceive, perceive it as positive. But if you've been with partners and you've just settled... It could be that something happens this year to shake shake it up a bit because maybe you're not meant to be with people who you're not really 
that into anymore but you've just fallen into a rut so you either sort that out because there, there could be some sort of event that takes place that makes you have to confront some issues that you've just sort of left um, you either you deal with that and you figure out how you feel about this person you either stay or you go basically um, but something if you've let if you've just been in a relationship just for the hell of it just for the sakes of it and you've just settled um, something could happen in 2023 that brings it to the forefront and you, it needs your attention to deal with and you either stay or you go it's possible that's why there's the single woman with all the money you know in the spread before because she's having to do it by herself what but there is one more card here now because this came up as an extra um and what this card the, the ace of swords is like if there are issues like that you can resolve them you can resolve them you can you can bring it to a to a healthy conclusion if you so choose it just might be the case that you don't want to resolve it you just want to let it go away because you're sick and tired of it it's down to you it's down to you all right okay um let's do a 12 month spread now and see how your 12 months are going to pan out month by month if you are having those types of issues you can um, book a reading with me and we can go into more details um i because obviously i do the the way i work with the the, the combined astrology you tell me your date of birth the other person's date of birth and i understand which archetype i'm dealing with so um yeah, if you have any issues like that, book a reading with me and I can work with you to help you try and um, sort it out. Right, let's do a 12 month spread now. Okay. So January, we've got the King of Pentacles. You are bursting with ideas at this point. What is what is it that you want to do this year? What, what do you want to spend your time on? There's all these different ideas that you have. Um, and they're all really, really good practical ideas. Uh, and you're excited about them. Right now, you're just exploring them a little bit, a little bit this, a little bit that, to see how you feel and see where the biggest excitement is. And that's what you, that's the road you're going to follow down. February, we've got the, um, the Two of Cups. So this is a romantic card. Spending time with people that you really get your juices flowing in a positive way. Uh, it can be romantic, it can be friendship, but it's uh, spending time with people you, you love and um, uh, they guarantee to bring a smile to your face. March, we have the single woman again, the uh, abundance, the joy. Also, this, this card could also mean a wish come true, you know, um, usually on a, on a money level. So uh, make a wish in, in March and um, work towards it. Visualise it, make it real. April could be a time where you sort of... Um, uh, pull yourself away from social environments and just spend time by yourself a little bit. Maybe take yourself on a holiday somewhere and just uh, spend some time by yourself. Read books. I know snakes like to read um, oftentimes or listen to Audible. But yeah, spend a bit of time by yourself. Reignite yourself. Uh, go within. Let the light, let the um, in, like let your inner spiritual being give you the guidance you need to uh, live in the external world in a, in a really positive way. Now look, what's interesting to me is in May, we've got two cards that have come up and they're both threes. So three of wands and the three of cups. So um, we've got two trinities here. So the three of cups is celebration um, and the three of, uh, the three of uh, wands, as I mentioned earlier, it's, it's that card of when you're working on something, you send out your fleet and you have to wait before the profit returns. So it's like uh, uh, most of the hard work is done. You just have to finish it off and then just wait. And then you can celebrate. You can have a, a, a bit of a, um, a time to just chill and relax and be with friends. And don't go overboard, of course, for, because of the health reading that we saw. But, you know, enjoy yourself in May. June, the work starts right up again. So you take on more than you can handle. You don't ask for help when you need it. You could ask for help. It's up to you. But snakes don't like to ask for help. Um, but, you know, you take it on more than you can handle uh, in June. So, you know, get through it and um, don't be afraid to ask for help. July, we've got the speed and synchronicity card. There's a lot happening. If you're waiting on a message, the message will come through. Like, you know, you set for something and you're like waiting to hear from someone and it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If, if it's around that time, it's likely to happen. 
Um, what am I trying to say? If you've set forth something when you're and you're waiting for, to hear from someone and they haven't heard, you haven't heard from them, it's likely to happen in July. Okay, because um, this, this card is about communications, uh, people getting in touch, also synchronistic events. So somehow something happens to jog the memory of someone and they're like, oh yeah, what happened to that person? And, and then they'll just randomly just, just remember you and just message you. So this is a really, really positive card um, for July. Um, and much can happen, much can be achieved. We seemingly you don't have to do very much. So that's really good. We've got the um, uh, Eight of Swords reversed again. So this is really positive. Remember that, that sense of freedom that you had before, uh, that I mentioned before. So this is there in August for you. A sense of freedom, a sense of being able to see the world accurately and truly after being possibly being gas gaslighted by somebody and now you truly see what's happening. Um, that's August time. September, we've got the Chariot card. A very, very positive. One of the three cards of victory. Um, balancing the yin and the yang and both sides of your, um, your, your the, the sort of mental aspect and the emotional aspect of working in conjunction in order to um, uh, c create success for you in, what, in whatever, whether it's romantic, whether it's work, whatever it is, whatever it is you want to achieve um, in September, you can, you can do that because you're, you know how to use the power of your body and mind in conjunction to do that. October, we've got the Lover's card. This is healing, this is romantic, this is passionate, it's joyful, it's loving, it's really deeply connecting with other people. Um, and if we are talking partners here, it's being able to give and receive in, uh, in the perfect balance, depending on who the two people are. Because you know, like, some people have a greater desire to give and a lesser desire to receive. So it's like figuring what that is, figuring that out with the, with the, your significant other and playing that game with each other, working that transaction so that it truly fulfills yourself and the other person. And knowing that there's a divine energy above you that's orchestrating all of this, that we just don't see, that we just don't understand, but it's there, it's there. So from that passion to the dark passion, <laughs> you see how similar these cards are. Um, even the number, this is a six, this is a 15, one five is a six. So, so it's purposely similar. Um, so the devil card is the, the, the lover's card, but darker, dirtier, friskier. Um, and you know, there's no harm in going to that place. Letting your inner child have what it have what it wants, regardless of whether it's socially acceptable or not. Now, I'm not talking to some perverse level. I'm not talking, you know, paedophilia or anything crazy like that. Um, but what I am saying is that there's nothing wrong with fetishes. There's nothing wrong with uh, exploring those things. I think it's good to get that stuff out of your system. Um, and and even if it doesn't leave your system, you know, you want to continue to explore it. It's sex. It's what it's for, and maybe it's it maybe that time in uh, November you have an opportunity to do that, and I think you should take it. Um, of course, the gen general reading for this card is you're feeling a bit selfish and you want to have what you want to have, um, and and that you know this is kind of a returning to a childlike phase a little bit and just being throwing a tantrum. I want a lollipop. I don't care if it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm supposed to be in bed. I want a lollipop. And um, that's okay. Like this, it's just a part of the human condition to be like that sometimes. If you're feeling that way, it's fine. Let yourself have the lollipop. Last card, December. We've got the Queen of Swords. Now she's a military queen. She's harsh. She's strong. She's got her own kingdom, queendom that she needs to rule. Um, so she removes emotions just like the King of Swords does and comes from a rational, objective place. But she's also very, very good at communications and speaking and um, getting her point across. So if you need to get your point across, do it rationally, objectively, and remove the emotion as you do it. Um, and if it's Christmas time, because snakes tend to be the focal point in, in like big families, they tend to, the families tend to revolve around the snake person. If you're having Christmas at your house, you know, you've got to take charge and, um, and do it with objectivity, compassion, and don't be afraid to be a little harsh. Put those kids in their place. All right, cool. That's it. Um, just want to quickly remind you of my first book, Secrets of the Command Astrology. You can get your copy on Amazon. Um, 
Yeah, so this is the full 144 chart. So there's 12 Chinese signs, 12 Western signs, 12 times 12 is 144, and this is the 144 archetype charts, all in here in this big book. Or you can just buy your own. This is mine, I'm Super Aquarius. There's Ed Sheeran on the cover, because he's also Super Aquarius. Um, and you can get this from Amazon for £6.99 or uh, $8.74, and just get your chart. So Snake Aquarius, Snake Capricorn, Snake whatever, you know what I mean? Cool. Um, also, you can book a reading with me if you want one. You can email me at zachariahideal.com. No, zachariahideal at gmail.com. Uh, the website is zachariahideal.com. Or you can WhatsApp me on this number right here and uh, just send me a message and we'll book it in. My calendar's not working. I've got to get that fixed. Um, if it's working now, then great. Just book it on the calendar. But otherwise, just uh, email me or text me uh, and um, we'll put you in the diary at some point. Okay, thank you very much for joining. Like and subscribe for more of this content and I'll see you next time. Bye.